Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be creating a hangman slash word guessing game. So here you can see our word is printed out, we can figure out it has 5 characters and we have 7 lives remaining, and if we guess an incorrect character, it will say incorrect and our lives will get deducted, and if we choose a correct character, it will say correct and the character is revealed. So let's get started. Firstly, let's create a string variable named word and within it we can assign any word we want the player to guess so i'll go simple and go with hello for now and then next we want to create two integers so the first will be an integer named max lives and we'll hold the maximum number of lives that the player should have then under it we'll have an integer called current lives and we'll set that to max lives at the beginning of the game and as a player gets is wrong we'll decrease the number of current lives by one then let's create a boolean called win and set it to false and this boolean will keep track of whether the player has won the game or not and finally we'll need a list of type char and we'll name that guest letters and we'll initialize it to a new list and this list will keep track of all the letters a player has guessed okay now let's move on to the game mechanics so we'll want the game to keep looping while the number of current lives is greater than zero and the player has not won. So first of all we'll want to print out the word to the player for them to guess. So for each letter we'll print out an underscore character if a letter hasn't been guessed yet and if it has been guessed then we'll print out the letter is normal. So to do this we will create a for each loop and it will keep looping for every character in our word. And then we'll do if guess letters contain C. So if the player has already guessed the letter and it was correct, then we will just write the letter to the console and note here that we are using console.write and not write line. And otherwise, if this isn't the case, then we want to conceal the letter, so we'll use console.write and we will print out an underscore character instead. So let's add a console.rekey here and have a look at what our game does so far. And you can see that it's printed to the console five hidden letters, which we can then guess. So now let's allow the player to enter their guess. So we will use console.writeLine and we'll start our message with a bat slash n. So this message is written onto the next line and not the same line as we have printed out our characters on. And we'll say, please guess a letter. And then we will also print out the number of current lives a player has out of the maximum number of lives they have plus lives remaining. Next let's actually get the input from the console so we will create a character called guess and set it to convert dot to char and then within this we will use console.readLine. So here we are taking the input from the console which is a string and we're using the convert.toCharacter to convert it to a single character. Next we want to check whether the player guess was actually correct. So let's use an if statement and if the word contains the letter that we've guessed and we haven't already guessed this letter, so we will have and not guess letters dot contains guess. Then they are correct, so let's use a console statement and print out correct. Otherwise, let's use an else statement and print out incorrect. And then we want to reduce the number of player lives by one, so we do current lives minus minus. Then after these if and else statements, we want to add the letter we've guessed to the list of guess letters. So we would do guess letters dot add and we will add our guess. Finally, at the end of our while loop, we want to verify whether all the letters have been correctly guessed, which will signify that the player has won the game. So to do this, let's create a boolean called word complete and we'll set it to true at the start. And then for each character, in our word that we want the player to guess. If guess letters does not contain this character C, 
So if we haven't guessed this character, then we know we haven't completed the word and we will just set word complete to false. So here, if the word is complete, this line setting word complete to false will never be called, meaning word complete will remain true and we've won the game. So finally, we want to set win to the result of word complete. And then finally, outside of our while loop where the game is finished, so the player either has guessed all the letters correctly or has run out of lives, we'll use if win. Then let's print out, congratulations, you win. And otherwise, meaning they've run out of lives, you can print, you lose. Okay, so let's give our game a try. And let's guess H. And it says correct. And number of lies printed out. Let's guess an incorrect letter. And it says incorrect and we lose a life. So what will happen if we guess a letter we've already previously guessed? So I'll try H again. And it says incorrect and our lives decrease by one because this letter has already been guessed. Next, let's correctly guess all of the letters. You can see that both L's were, were added to the word. Finally, let's do O. And it says correct. Congratulations, you win. And then let's also do a run through and let's lose the game. So let's keep going until we run out of lives. And then it says at the end, you lose. And with that, we now have our very own C Sharp Hangman game. As always, a link to the blog post should be in the description if you'd prefer to see a written version. A link to the GitHub repository should also be posted in the description. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.